her if you want to do There are no markings on a country road It's time to show the way back home But when you get there you won't want to go I'd frozen over my desire Covered up in virgin snow But when I stand beside her She burns, yeah She burns like petrol, soap, paper and fireworks And I'm burning, yeah I'm burning I'm burning so deep that just breathing her I'm melting down in a kind of She likes to lay under the covers of Tended everywhere as I home Keeps me warm right to my very soul We get so tangled up it's hard to know What is hers and what's my own Finds at the bottom of an olive grove I froze in all my desire Covered up in virgin snow But when I stand beside her She burns, yeah She burns like petrol, soap, paper, and fireworks And I'm burning, yeah, I'm burning I'm burning so deep that just breathing hurts I'm melting down in a kind of I think with some projects, they almost have a will of their own to be made. And I think that's the case with this one. And what I've made is a pencil float, which is normally used for dead bait fishing for pike. They're a little different because they're not normally used in the upright position. And that's because they're used over depth. When the pike picks up the bait, it should pull the line taut and make the float kind of stick up to attention. Because of the short winter days, I often find myself fishing to that edge of darkness. 
And I thought I'd add a bit of a light to help me out with my kind of senior years. <laughs> Um, what turns the light on is a small mercury tilt switch, basically. Although it uses only a tiny amount of batteries, if I'm carrying the float, I can turn it upside down and that should switch the light off. I offset all the weight inside the float, so it would basically, when it sits in the water, it would stay in the off position until cocked up. So I've been for a couple of short sessions, maybe three hours of peace in the late afternoon, and caught bugger all. I mean, the float's working great, it's doing what it should do, but nothing's touching the baits. Although last night in the dying minutes of the fishing trip, it did stand up and pop on. I got all excited, but the fish had obviously dropped it and disappeared. I'm just getting together some bits and bobs and getting back out there and seeing if I can go and find a, a pike and put all this effort to some use. The third session didn't really add up to much either, despite trying different baits. I've just been a bit more active. But I really had to give it one last go, although it was getting to desperation states. So I'm back for another short session. This is my fourth, and I think the only thing that's keeping me going at the moment is just sheer bloody frustration. There was a really quite heavy frost last night and there was a thin layer of ice on parts of the lake which looks to be melting off. So far I've given it half a dozen casts. Um, the place I want to fish I can't because the ice hasn't melted yet. But I did go to sleep last night seeing floats bloody disappearing. That's how much it's kind of got to me. I'm hoping, fingers crossed, today might be the day or I think I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna have to take up snooker or golf or some other, some other. I wonder if I could make golf clubs, that probably could. The next video may be me making golf clubs or snooker cues or something like that. In the end, it just wasn't to be. The only consolation in all this is while I was waiting for the varnish to dry on the float, I snuck out for a quick session with the lures. I managed to catch a pike on the prototype swim bait I've been working on, which probably tells me I should get that finished instead of messing around with dead fish. Thanks for watching.